children it is a continuation of the chapter chemical reactions and equations now let us discuss about oxidation and reduction you do one activity heat a china dish containing about 1 gram copper powder it is a china dish and take a copper powder in the china dish and heat it see the figure here here wire gauze is kept on the tripod stand and on that wire gauze the china dish containing the copper powder is kept and heated with the burner here the burner is used to heat the copper powder which is taken in the china dish and what do you observe here see here the surface of the copper powder becomes black surface of the copper powder becomes black the surface of copper powder becomes coated with black copper oxide what is that black here that is copper oxide why has this black substance formed this is because oxygen is added to copper and copper oxide is formed in this reaction copper is heated with oxygen to produce copper oxide to produce copper oxide and it is nothing but addition of oxygen to copper addition of oxygen to copper and copper oxide is formed and you observe one more reaction if hydrogen gas is passed over if hydrogen gas is passed over this heated material co this heated material co you know that it is already hot and pass the hydrogen gas over this heated material the black coating on the black coating on the surface turns brown black coating on the surface of the copper turns brown as the reverse reaction takes place and copper is obtained here yeah? black layer is removed out means in turn you got copper so it is a reverse reaction here the reaction with oxygen and the reaction with hydrogen they are one reaction is the reverse of the other in the first reaction oxygen is added in the second reaction oxygen is removed from the copper in the first reaction oxygen is added to copper in the second reaction oxygen is removed from the copper oxide which is found in the previous reaction so here one is the reverse of the other so first one is called the oxidation this reaction is called the oxidation and this reaction is called the reduction here copper is oxidized and here copper oxide is reduced copper oxide is reduced if a substance gains oxygen during a reaction it is said to be oxidized if a substance gains oxygen during a reaction it is said to be oxidized if a substance loses oxygen during a reaction it is said to be reduced so what is oxidation that is the addition of oxygen to the substance and what is reduction that is removal of oxygen is the reduction during this reaction the copper oxide is losing oxygen in the second reaction copper oxide is losing oxygen and it is reduced in the second reaction copper oxide is reduced the hydrogen is gaining oxygen see here h2o is formed hydrogen is gaining oxygen so hydrogen is oxidized here hydrogen is gaining oxygen and it is being oxidized so in other words one reactant gets oxidized 
and the other reactant gets reduced during this reaction. Such reactions are called oxidation reduction reactions or redox reactions. Here in one reaction both oxidation and reduction takes place and so this reaction is called the oxidation reduction reaction. In short it is called redox reaction. In short it is called redox reduction but in the first case only oxidation is there that is the addition of oxygen and in the second reaction oxidation is also there reduction is also there here copper oxide loses oxygen so it is reduced and hydrogen gains oxygen so it is oxidized and so it is called redox reaction it is called redox reaction See here, here hydrogen oxidized to H2O and copper oxide loses oxygen and reduced to copper. And you can give some other examples of redox reactions. See here, ZNO, zinc oxide reacts with carbon and loses oxygen and reduces to zinc and carbon gains oxygen and oxidized to carbon monoxide. So this is also example of the redox reaction. Here zinc is reduced by losing oxygen, carbon is oxidized by gaining oxygen. And in the next reaction MnO2 plus 4HCl gives MnCl2 plus 2H2O plus Cl2. See this chemical reaction. Here MnO2 manganese dioxide reacts with hydrochloric acid. And this reaction MnO2 loses oxygen and reduces to MnCl2. Oxygen atoms are removed and MnO2 is reduced to MnCl2 and HCl hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride gains that oxygen gains that oxygen it receives that oxygen and it is oxidized to water HCl is oxidized to water and MnO2 is reduced to MnCl2 by losing oxygen and HCl gains oxygen and reduced to water. So this is, an, this is also example for the redox reaction. So in any reaction oxidation is there means redu reduction also will be there. So here you, you can say that carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide and ZNO is reduced to Zn. In this reaction MnO2 loses oxygen and reduced to MnCl2. HCl gains oxygen and oxidized to water and also one more thing you can say HCl loses hydrogen and it is oxidized to chlorine. Here HCl is oxidized to chlorine and MnO2 is reduced to MnCl2 and from the above examples from these examples you can say that if a substance gains oxygen or loses hydrogen during a reaction it is oxidized. Substance gains oxygen. See this HCl gains oxygen and loses hydrogen. Loses hydrogen and it gains oxygen and loses hydrogen and it is oxidized. If a substance loses oxygen and gains hydrogen during a reaction, it is reduced. Now, let us explain the term oxidation. 
then what is oxidation oxidation is a process in which oxygen is added or hydrogen is removed Oxi oxidation is a process in which oxygen is added or hydrogen is removed addition of oxygen removal of hydrogen both are said to be oxidation so let us take some examples cu plus o2 gives 2 cu that is copper reacts with oxygen to give copper oxide so here addition of oxygen to copper addition of oxygen to copper and it is an example of oxidation as oxygen is added to copper it is oxidized to copper oxide next you take mg plus 2mg plus o2 gives 2mgo magnesium reacts with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide it is also addition of oxygen oxygen is added to magnesium and magnesium oxide is formed so here magnesium is oxidized to magnesium oxide that is the addition of oxygen to magnesium and it is a example of oxidation sodium reacts with oxygen to produce sodium oxide in this reaction also oxygen is added to sodium oxygen is added to sodium and sodium is oxidized to sodium oxide it is addition of oxygen addition of oxygen next you take s plus o2 gives so2 s is the sulfur sulfur is sulfur reacts with oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide here oxygen is added to sulfur sulfur is oxidized to produce sulfur dioxide this is the addition of oxygen to sulfur and it is an example of oxidation next you take h2s plus i2 h2s plus i2 gives 2hi plus i here hydrogen sulfide h2s is the hydrogen sulfide reacts with iodine reacts with iodine to produce hydrogen iodide that is 2hi and sulfur here hydrogen is removed from the hydrogen sulfide hydrogen is removed from the hydrogen sulfide and it is oxidized to oxidized to sulfur oxidized to sulfur so it is a removal of hydrogen from h2s and it is an example of oxidation as hydrogen is removed so the addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen is a oxidation process next about the reduction what is reduction reduction is a process in which hydrogen is added or oxygen is removed it is a reverse of oxidation hydrogen is added or oxygen is removed take some examples here chlorine reacts with hydrogen to produce hydrogen chloride chlorine reacts with hydrogen to produce hydrogen chloride in this reaction hydrogen is added to chlorine and it is reduced to hydrogen chloride it is an addition of hydrogen to chlorine addition of hydrogen to chlorine and it is an example of the reduction reaction similarly addition of hydrogen to bromine you will get hydrogen bromide hbr that is 2 hbr it is also addition of hydrogen to bromine and it is an example of reduction as there is addition of hydrogen next magnesium oxide is heated to produce magnesium and oxygen here oxygen is removed from the magnesium oxide oxygen is removed from the magnesium oxide and it is reduced to magnesium reduced to magnesium it is an example of removal of oxygen and which is a reduction 
it is a removal of oxygen from magnesium oxide magnesium oxide reduced to magnesium next mercuric oxide hgo is a mercuric oxide when it is heated it is heated here oxygen is removed and it is reduced to mercury on heating mercury oxide it is reduced to mercury there is a removal of oxygen removal of oxygen from mercury oxide and it is reduced to mercury it is an example of reduction reaction in which oxygen is removed next cuo reacts with hydrogen to produce cu and here removal of oxygen from cuo just we have discussed this example and here cuo is reduced to cu by removal of oxygen by the by removing the oxygen from the cuo it is reduced to cu so these are the example from the reduction and also you know redox reaction what is redox reaction that is oxidation reduction reaction see here here when copper oxide reacts with hydrogen copper and water forms cuo is reduced to cu by the removal of oxygen atom here oxygen is removed from cuo and it is reduced to copper and h2 gains oxygen and it is oxidized to water hydrogen is oxidized to water by gaining oxidation so it is one of the example of redox reaction and also you know here just i told that co is losing oxygen and so co is reduced to h2 is gaining oxygen h2 is oxidized next you take in this reaction mno2 reacts with 4hcl gives mncl2 cl2 h2o it is also discussed here in this reaction mno2 loses oxygen and reduced to mncl2 mno2 reduced to mncl2 by losing oxygen and hcl oxidized to h2o by gaining oxygen hcl is oxidized to h2o by gaining oxygen and also it is oxidized by losing hydrogen losing hydrogen it is oxidized to chlorine and oxidized to h2 next 2 h2s plus so2 hydrogen sulfide reacts with sulfur dioxide h2s is hydrogen sulfide and so2 is sulfur dioxide reacts with each other and sulfur 3s is formed and water is also formed so what happened here h2s gains oxygen and it is oxidized to water and it also loses here you can observe that h2s is gaining the oxygen and oxidized to h2o and so2 so2 loses oxygen and reduced to sulfur so here h2s oxidized to h2o by gaining oxygen and so2 is reduced to s by losing oxygen in this way eh, both oxidation and reduction takes place and it is an example of redox reaction you can observe that all oxidation reduction reactions are redox reactions in a chemical reaction a substance gets oxidized 
only when another substance is present which gets reduced here in a chemical reaction one reducing substance will be there and one more oxidizing substance will be there now let us discuss about the effects of oxidation in our everyday life effects of oxidation reactions in everyday life you observed the iron articles are shiny when new but get coated with a reddish brown powder when left for some time new iron articles are shiny and when they left for some time they get coated with reddish brown powder what is that that is the iron oxide that is the process which is commonly known as rusting of iron some other metals also tarnished in this manner and observe the color of the coating formed on copper and silver here when a metal is attacked by a substance like moisture acids etc they corrode and this process is called corrosion the black coating on silver and the green coating on copper they are the examples of corrosion here when they expose to moisture or they are, when they are attacked by the acids they corrode and the process is called the corrosion and you may observe the brownish color on the surface of the iron articles and the black coating on the silver and copper articles all these are nothing but corrosion so what are the problems caused by the corrosion you know that corrosion causes damage to vehicle bodies like car bodies bridges iron railing ships and many of the objects made by the metals especially the objects made by the iron so bridges made by the iron damages and iron railings also damages due to the corrosion ships and all the objects which are made by the metals damages due to the corrosion so corrosion of iron is a serious problem every year large amount of money is spent to replace damaged iron and you know that corrosion is different from rusting rusting is the process in which iron metal reacts with air and moisture to form brownish powder that is called the rust that is the corrosion of iron due to moisture is called the rustic of iron shiny iron articles on exposures to moisture get coated with a brownish powder which peels off easily in this way enormous amount of iron is damaged and lost but you can prevent rusting the iron article should be painted the machine part should be oiled and greased galvanized iron pipes are used for water supply iron can be coated with chromium also you observed that iron grills are frequently painted to prevent the rusting now let us discuss about the rancidity you may observe that the smell and taste of food containing fats and oils change after some time what is the reason here the reason is rancidity fats and oils in food kept for long time gets oxidized and become 
rancid become rancid and taste of food changes and causes infection on eating here when fats and oils are oxidized they become rancid their smell and taste change dead by flushing out oxygen with an gas like nitrogen packets of food items like chips are flushed with nitrogen so that these can be used even after long duration keeping food in air tight container also help to slow down oxidation and to preserve food for a long time here usually substances which prevent oxidation they are called antioxidants are added to food containing fats and oil and keeping food in air tight containers helps to slow down oxidation and also chips manufacturers usually flush bags of chips with gas such as nitrogen to prevent the chips from getting oxidized in this way you can prevent the rancidity now you write the effects of oxidation in our everyday life the two effects are corrosion and rancidity which are the two effects of oxidation in everyday life corrosion and rancidity and what is corrosion when a metal is attacked by substances around it such as moisture acids etc it is said to corrode and this process is called corrosion you write it when a metal is attacked by a substance around it such as moisture acids etc it is said to corrode and this process is called corrosion and the examples of corrosion black coating on silver green coating on copper reddish brown coating on iron articles which is the rusting of iron these are the some examples of corrosion black coating on silver green coating on copper reddish brown coating on iron articles then what are the problems caused by corrosion corrosion causes damage to car bodies bridges iron railings ships and all objects made of metals and corrosion of iron is serious problem every year enormous amount of money is spent to replace damaged iron these are the problems caused by corrosion next the other effect of oxidation is rancidity so what is rancidity fats and oils in food kept for long time get oxidized and become rancid taste and smell of food changes and causes infection on eating this is called rancidity fats and oils in food kept for long time get oxidized and become rancid taste and smell of food changes and causes infection on eating this is called rancidity and what the, what are the methods to prevent rancidity rancidity can be prevented by adding antioxidants which prevent oxidation to food containing fats and oils rancidity can also be prevented by flushing out oxygen with gas such as nitrogen and also you can prevent the oxidation or slow down the oxidation keeping food in air tight containers keeping food in air tight containers also help to slow down oxidation and to preserve food for long time these are the methods to prevent rancidity